There he is. There's Hydrox. He's waiting under the fence. He's waiting for me to go inside so he could try to eat that bird. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Simba. Stella slept on the bed all night. Simba was in the cat tower for part of the night. And at four o'clock in the morning, I heard this massive noise. And I woke up and Simba was on the floor near the cat tower. And I thought he was sleeping on top of the cat tower and then fell off of the cat tower. But it ended up that he was hunting a bug. And he jumped off the cat tower, but it made such a loud noise. And um, so he was hunting a bug, and I didn't see anything. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Then finally I saw the bug he was hunting. I don't know what kind of bug it was. But it was that kind that can like flip up and over. And so I disposed of the bug before he could eat it. Good morning, Splash. Splash slept in this cat tower all night. Well, at least that's where I left him when I went to bed. And that's where he was at 4 o'clock in the morning when Simba woke me up. And Boo was sleeping in this cat tower all night. Well, at least that's where he was when I went to bed and when I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, the two of them slept in the cat towers. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? You a good boy? It is 9.48 a.m. Simba jumped on the bed with Boo. The cats have been served their wheatgrass this morning. I give this to them before they eat. Okay, so I just went to take some garbage out. I just cleaned out the cat litter and I was taking it out to the garbage and I came outside and I noticed there was a bird trapped in the greenhouse. There's a bird flying around the greenhouse and then I look and there's a cat in the greenhouse trying to catch the bird. So when I saw a cat jumping around the greenhouse, first of all, I don't even know how they got in. They must have gotten in um, through the bottom here um, because you could just kind of scoot in the bottom. And then I, I started making noise and I saw the cat run out and it was Hydrox. There he is. There's Hydrox. He's waiting under the fence. He's waiting for me to go inside so he could try to eat that bird. Maybe he already ate it. Oh my gosh, I hope there's not a dead bird in my greenhouse. Oh my gosh. But it's not like he doesn't have any food. He has a feeder full of food. Okay, so while I'm outside, let me give you a tour of my tomato plants. These are all plants that I grew from seed in the greenhouse this year. And uh, so far it's been my best year for tomatoes ever because I did get a little bit of head start with the greenhouse. And I think they're all heirloom tomato seeds. Um, so here we have some tomatoes. I think these are like the super small, super sweet cherry tomatoes. And here we have another tomato plant. And here's another tomato plant. And here's another tomato plant. These are my portulacas. They reseeded themselves from last year. They just came up again, so that's great. I can't wait until they start to have flowers. These are the other portulacas that came up again this year. This is another tomato plant. Another tomato plant. This has a lot of flowers on it. This is some kind of like string bean, and I wish I planted more of these, or I want to plant more of these, um, because I also planted some cucumbers, beans, and cantaloupe in the garden and none of those have come up so I need to like replant those but here is another tomato plant and the tomato plants that are planted in the garden are much bigger than the tomato plants that are planted in containers on the patio here's another tomato plant and another one and this is yet another one now I'm also realizing maybe these are bigger because they're a different variety I think I planted mostly the San Marzano tomatoes because I always have really good luck with them they always grow really well here and again those are seeds that were saved from uh, I think it two years ago here's another plant and another plant 
and another plant. And the reason why I say they're the San Marzano is because those are really, they're like vines, and these plants are really viney. I'm trying to put them in the uh, tomato cages so that they're trained a little bit better. Now the main reason I got the greenhouse is because I wanted to grow like salad greens and berries and herbs and stuff like that and not have like squirrels and critters get into them. Um, because several years ago I was really lucky growing that stuff on the patio area. The last few years I haven't been as lucky because the animals have been eating everything. So um, this is some baby spinach that's growing in the greenhouse. This is also some spinach and this could be harvested and eaten. The baby spinach could be harvested and eaten also. It's just, I could let that grow a little bit more. And here we have a little tea garden. So this is, it says this is green tea. Um, I think that's like lemon balm. Uh, this is chamomile and then this is mint tea. So we'll see how these grow. This is like a little kit from the Christmas tree shop. Right now it is about 12 noon and I just got back from a short bike ride. I did like three miles. I'm trying to get more workouts in this summer since hopefully I won't be spending time socializing any new cats and spending hours of my day outside doing that. So um, the greenhouse was open all morning because I let the bird out and I just put two plants in front of it to kind of like block the entrance in case any animals try to get in. But as I was doing that, I noticed something else, which I'm not really happy about. There is a small dead bird near the automatic feeder. So um, what I'm going to do is just leave it there because I'm thinking a cat will eat it. If a cat does not eat it, I'm sure one of the other animals will eat it. And I think that's the best thing to do. Um, I don't know why an animal didn't eat it to begin with. I don't know if Hydrox left it there as a present. Um, but instead of just wasting this bird's life, why not let some animal eat it and get nutrition from it? So I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, it's starting to rain right now, so I am going to go inside. And um, hopefully uh, by later today, uh, one of the outside animals will have eaten this bird. Right now it's about 7.30 p.m. and I just got home and it appears that uh, the dead bird is gone. So someone has either eaten it or taken it away. The automatic feeder is full of food. So what I'm thinking is that I need to adjust how much food is being dispensed. Like if there's this much food in the bowl and no one's eating it and it's going to feed like raccoons and skunks, then I'm definitely cutting down on the amount of food that's coming out. Okay, so this is the platter from breakfast. It's been downstairs, and I'm happy to report that I don't see any ants crawling on it. It doesn't mean the ant situation is fixed. It just means the ant situation is a little bit better right now. It is 9.45 p.m., and I was playing with the cats downstairs, and then I said, oh, I should go get the camera so I could film some of it. Come on, boo. It's playtime. I took out the uh, fishing wand toy with the feather toy on the end. This is one of the toys that I only take out like for playtime. I don't leave it out all the time. That way it stays special. They're like going crazy after chasing this bird. Boo's gonna just tear that up, but that's okay because I have extras.
Okay, so I took the feather toy off the end of this fishing line and I put this little mouse toy and the cats have been going crazy. These cats were definitely mouse hunters when they were living outside and um, they're really, really good at it. They probably miss hunting mice. See what happens if I put it in Stella's truck. Is Stella gonna go crazy? Where's Boo? Boo's hanging out on the top step. I don't know why he's not coming down to play. Come on, Boo, you gotta play? Come on. So my goal is to try to uh, spend some time each day playing with the cats. I really haven't had a lot of time to play with them lately. I'm like, oh, they'll just play with themselves. But they definitely like it better when, you know, someone plays with them. And because they have so many different toys, the goal is to, um, like, play with a different toy each day. So, like, today we're playing with this fishing pole toy and then like tomorrow might be a laser pointer or it might be um, like some of the cat it toys so that's the goal the goal is to rotate the toys Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.